Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have GG Jibriel XD versus Elite Baller, and this is going to be a post Cyberstorm access replay, and we're going to see Elite Baller win the round previous to the decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we have Saki Tama, Shifter, Imperm, Ari Tama, and then Shifter, they have Moonlit, Soul Peacemaker, Big Banky, Therion King, and Soul Gaia. So they're going to go normal summon out Soul Peacemaker and then drop Shifter on the normal summon to stop them from being able to make the Link 1. Uh, well, I mean, they could still make the Link 1, but do anything with it. And then activate Big Benki, Big Benki effect, grab out Soul Claw, and then activate Soul Claw to equip, and then pass. They draw Ash Blossom. Okay. Um, normal summon. Do they have a target for this? Okay, yeah, they do play multiple. Saki Tama. Let's go ahead, grab that, and the Sakitama effect, normal summon itself out, overlay, go into the Teller Knight effect, and then they're going to chain Moonlit on that, so stop them from getting the search. Um, yeah, the effect on summon is the one that adds from Graveyard, okay, and then the other effect is the one that detaches to make like the normal summon effect activate right away. Uh, then they're going to go battle phase, attack in the soul peacemaker, and because of the soul claw, it cannot be destroyed by battle, and also gains 500 attack and defense, and then go into diamond, go into Zeus, and then Zeus effect the wipe, uh, Zeus plus shifter, pretty good, and then they draw a samurai bike, so they're going to go activate samurai bike, um, they said sure, that's fine, we're not going to ash blossom that, and then grab out prodigy, probably just wants to play around gamma maybe, Activate their young king effect, uh, summon and equip, and then activate prodigy, prodigy effect. They said sure, that's fine. Summon scale, and then imperm on their young king. Uh, yeah, it's kind of tough. And then Zeus wipe, so it's gonna wipe everything. Pass, draw Teller Knight, Constellar, and then activate. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot I had the on-activation effect to summon back. I was like, there's no way that this can target Zeus and, like, change it out, right? Uh, effect summon back, and then we're going to see Super Heavy Samurai admit defeat there. Moving on to the next game now, we are going to see Super Heavy Samurai go first. We got Lyra, Rhoda, Dino, Saki, Tama, and Lyra. No going second cards at all. Um, the engine is going to have a very hard time pushing through a field. They have Gamma, Droll, Moonlit, Big Banky, and Soul Piercer. So, said Shifter Me again, maybe. Uh, normal Summon Out, Soul Piercer. And then go ahead, Link Off, go in the Scarecrow, Soul Piercer Effect, go Search. And then they're going to grab out Prodigy. And then activate Prodigy, Prodigy Effect to scale Big Banky, Summon Out. And then Big Banky Effect, grab Soul Peacemaker. Uh, activate the link one, discard gamma, summon back out the soul piercer from the graveyard, and then they have, I was gonna say, they haven't gone through bike, but they do have gamma in rotation, so they can still go for a cell. The uh, cell chain link one, soul piercer two, prodigy three, so scale, uh, go search out the samurai wagon, and then summon out gamma, and then synchro off, make baron, activate soul peacemaker. Tribute. Also, I don't like this zone for Baron because, like, it does play in the Anima. But I guess if you end on Appalooza, you always play in the Anima somewhat. Bring out Scales, Scales effect, bring out Soul Piercer, and then go into Cleefort Genius. Activate Soul Piercer effect, grab Samurai Bike, and then Pendulum, bring out Bike, Wagon, uh, activate the Genius effect, go search for Therion King. Wagon effect, switch to attack, grab Soul Claw. Bike effect up the level by two, and then we're gonna overlay those. Go into Gear Giant X. I said one sec skipped. Oh, okay, summon out Scare Claw, and then go into Gear Giant X. Um, yeah, they're not searching for Soul Gaia or anything like that. Their effect. They're gonna grab a wagon. And then go into Appalooza Pass. Okay, so they don't play Gearbox. Otherwise, they would have went like. You know, Gearbox, Tunneler, Tribute, Summon Tunneler, Make Appalooza, and then Tunneler Draw. So they decided to cut those from their deck. Uh, pass, they draw Teller Knight, Constellar, and then Normal Summon, Deneb, Deneb Effect, Chainlink 1, Lyra, Chainlink 2 to Special Summon, Grab Out Vega, 
and then they're going to my dome. Special on this card from your hand. If this card is something you can add one Telling Knight spell. Oh, we only play one. We must not play Skybridge. Or maybe we sided it out. Uh, Sakitama effect to summon. Appalooza. Negate. Overlay. Go into Tele Knight. Constellar. And then attack over the Appalooza. Main phase 2. Diamond. And then Zeus. I said anything on summon. Nope. Uh, effect to go ahead. Wipe. Chain Baron. Effect to wipe. So we're going to wipe the whole field. Activate Rota. And then Rota goes search. It's just like, I get what they were trying to do by only going for Baron Appalooza and nothing else. It's probably just because, like, this deck's probably not pushing through that very well with just their engine anyways. So they're going to need non-engine to beat it. So maybe you're just holding all this for follow-up. I mean, you have Droll and Moonlit to also protect yourself. Like, I get it. Then they're going to activate Teller Knight. Constellar, so I'm back out from the graveyard, going to M7, and then Tully Knight Constellar to turn this into Deltaros, Deltaros effect, detach, pop itself, Deltaros effect, go summon, but I feel like we were supposed to draw when they searched off the nub, and now we're getting punished, making me want to play Tully Knight. Summon out Altier, Altier effect, chain moonlit. Okay, that's pretty good moonlit. Yeah, I was gonna say stop stopping that right there is tough. They draw Ash Blossom, uh, activate Therion King, so they didn't get punished too much by not using Drool. And then they're gonna normal summon out Wagon, Wagon effect, and then go ahead grab Soul Piercer. Um, activate Soul Piercer effect to equip, and then link off in the Scarecrow, Soul Piercer effect, go grab out Prodigy, and now it's just up to them to end the game. Uh, they don't know that their opponent doesn't have a hand trap though. Scarecrow discards something back out. So that's going to bring out the Soul Peacemaker, Soul Peacemaker effect to attach, and then effect tribute, bring out scales, and then scales effect goes summon. I mean, it makes sense if you don't play... Uh, gearbox or tunneler you may as well play two scales even some people play two scales even while playing that stuff uh, scale summon back out soul piercer then go on the asa and then they're gonna activate the soul piercer effect to go search so grab out samurai bike and then scale prodigy pendulum summon out three and then yeah we're gonna see jib admit the feet there so moving on into game number three now, we're going to see Satelli Knight go first. Uh, we got Nib, Satelli Knight Altia, Army Tama, uh, Nib, Talons. They have the Big Benki, the Karkura, the Soul Peacemaker, the Soul Gaia, and the Moonlit. So normal summon effect, go search, grab Sakitama. And then Sakitama effect, normal summon itself out. Overlay those, go into the Teller Knight, Constellar, Moonlit that on Summon, which I think is completely fair, otherwise this gives you a really solid effect. Um, then they're going to go Talents to draw, draw Altier, Lyra, so this doesn't actually push through anything, so they're just going to have to pass. Uh, pass, draw Wagon, so do they play in the Nib? That's pretty much the question here. How far do they play into Nib? Normal Wagon, Wagon Effect, switch to Defense, and then Effect, switch back to Attack, uh, grab out Soul Piercer, and then activate Soul Piercer effect. Um, and then it's going to equip, make Scarecrow, Soul Piercer effect, go search, and then grab out Prodigy, um, activate Prodigy, Prodigy effect to summon and scale the Big Benki. And then Big Benki effect, grab out Soul Claw, sure, that's fine. Uh, Scarecrow, discard Big Benki, summon back out Soul Piercer from the graveyard, and then activate Soul Claw, effect a summon, and then drop Nib. So, you know, they could have searched Bike instead, and then trying to go on into a cell and set up like a Baron to try to beat this, but we did commit an extra card into it when we didn't have to. Um, so let's see how much that ends up hurting us. We're going to get Soul Piercer effect to search still. Um, that's going to search out Samurai Bike. And then activate Samurai Bike. Discard, go search. And then they're going to grab out Prodigy. Scale the Prodigy. P 
Pendulum Summon, bring out Prodigy, Solgaia, and then link those off, or not link those off, synchro those off. I was going to say, I don't even know what link you'd go for there, um, exactly, because they don't play. I mean, they could go into Clee Four Genius, that's about it. That's like actually decent. Go on the Baron. I think even Clay Four Genius isn't like even decent here. Uh, Baron, Baron Effect, Pop Nib, Attack, Pass, Drill Shifter, and then they're gonna go Normal Summon Altier, Altier One, Lyra Two, and I think that Chain Block there is really what's gonna make the difference for this game. Summon out Telionite Constellar, and then activate Lyra Effect to go search for Telionite Constellar, the spell. Said so makes 101. Oh. No, they're going to make Teller Knight Constellar um, effect. And then they're going to banish to try to copy Deneb effect. They said it's fine. Okay, go grab Lyra. And then battle phase, attack the token. Yes, yeah, so they're going to take 200, main phase 2, Diamond Zeus. This just seems like a, another Zeus. It's like, I know it's not a Zeus turbo deck. But, that's just how it's playing out to be. It's how, like, a lot of matches feel like they've been playing out to be. Especially when you play Shifter. Like, you Shifter your opponent. You summon a 4 material Zeus. You're feeling pretty good. Then activate uh, Teller, Constellar, because they Baron negated Zeus. Uh, bring out from the graveyard. And then go M7, effect, change it, turn it into Delta Rose. Then Delta Rose, pop the big Benki. Yeah, so pop that, link off, go into a sold, and then Deltaros 1, a sold 2 to go search. So we're going to search Unk, and then summon out Vega, Vega effects, summon out Altia, and then overlay those into Ga 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 Magician effect, uh, detach, bring out the Deltaros, and then we're going to use those to go into Unicorn, uh, Unicorn, chain link 2, Deltaros, chain link 1, so spin back token, summon out the Neb, the Neb effect. Grab Vega. I said, yo, Deltaros is broken. It actually is. It actually is broken. Um, yeah, when it's used like this. This is chain link 2 to the nub. Wait, can this actually work? Oh, okay. Yeah. That is pretty good. I guess you could always summon it for free, but you can also summon it and just pop here. Wait, can we not pop? Um, if this card is summoned, you can target cards with the field up to the... Yeah, so they could have popped a card. So, they missed out on that. Oh, wait, it says XYZs. Oh, never mind. Wait, no, we had Gaga Gaga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Summon access code, affecting attack, effect, pop two. And then we're going to overlay, uh, summon out Babuska, and then pass turn. They draw Ash Blossom. So having to beat Babuska while there's Nib there is a little bit tough. But yeah, they're just going to admit the feat. Um, they said, shoes, GG's, I need to go on this deck, even if you give me a fake list, just something. Okay, so, uh, seeing how long the match was, the match was about 30 minutes long, and we are going to see Teller Knight end up winning there. Um, I still think this deck has a lot of problems, obviously we've been watching it, it's, it definitely seems like it's been going to be more of a fun deck, I wouldn't even put it on the level of Math Mech, uh, maybe that's just right now though, who knows, maybe the deck gets better over time and people get better with it but that is going to be it for the video and with that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe